It's very, it's very simple. You just draw on this. Um, you could use tracing paper. You could put it down and trace over what you have. Because all you want to do is make an, imp an, an impression in, the, in, this, uh, in this foam. And that's all you're doing. So we'll show you how that works. I've got an example of a print or two. Um, here's another plate that you could possibly use. It's a piece of plastic. And you start to see toy packaging or you know, things that you would normally throw away in a different light. All of a sudden, you're going to start seeing plastic in a new way. Because you can repurpose this stuff and you can use it. You know, this came from some sort of container. And I just cut around the circle of it. Um, this one here has a cat on it. You can't see it all that well. We'll show you the finished print. But all I did was carve into it. And it's just a plastic plate. And you'll put that through your press the same way we did with the foam. It's the same, the same idea. Um, so you'll put that through as well. Printing plates can be a little thicker. You'll notice that this linoleum block is maybe an eighth of an inch. So you know, if you're doing multiple projects, you're going to have to adjust the pressure for each printing plate depth. Um, so this one it would need to be dialed up a little bit. But again, you know, the idea here is, and for this project, you don't actually use the, the, the felts. You can take those away, because you don't need that kind of pressure. But you're trying to figure out, well, how low does this have to go? Before I get some pressure. And you'll, you can kind of feel it. Because now it wants to travel through. If it's, if it's too light, you won't feel anything as you, as you move it through. So whatever material you buy, you know, let's say you, you buy something from NASCO. Um, you know, maybe it's slightly thicker or it's, you know, slightly thinner. It depends on where they're getting their materials from. Um, that will determine what you set this at. So, you know, you just need to be somewhat prepared. Maybe you'll do a trial run before you have the kids come in or your, you know, your students. Um, and you'll have an idea. And you can write it down in, in a notebook that we set it at, well, this one was set at, uh, this one was set at eight, so it seemed to work, you know. But again, just stay open, experiment, try and figure out what works best for you, because you're not going to have the same materials as every other library does. You know, um, you'll go out and get your own materials. You'll be finding plastics that are maybe slightly thicker. I know milk jug plastic is is a little thicker than you know, like acetate or something like that. So whatever you decide to use, that's that's what you'll do. Is you'll figure out what sort of pressure to apply.